Apart from Ferrari, if there's anyone who can pose a threat to the Mercedes domination of Formula 1 in 2017, it's probably Red Bull Racing. With the increased emphasis on aerodynamics, many people have speculated that Red Bull and their design team led by Adrian Newey are best placed to take advantage of the new regulations. The new RB13 has been released in a blur of special effects that makes it look more like a WWE entrance video for Bray Wyatt or The Undertaker than a new car reveal. What we can see follows the trend for 2017 of a return to the rear fin and a more sculptured look to the side pods and lots of attention to under-vehicle aerodynamics. The new side pods have raised the concern that cooling could be a problem for some of the cars this year. And with engine reliability, not necessarily Renault's strong point, it'll be interesting to see just what happens when the cars hit the track in the pre-season test and at the opening round of the championship around the lake at Albert Park in late March. For Red Bull Racing's Daniel Ricciardo, the new season just can't start soon enough. Going to Melbourne, Australia for the first race, it's like, it's kind of a double hit in terms of everyone's excited and anxious for the start of the year, but I get, you know, another load of that because it's, it's my home race, it's the first race, and it's like, they're all not sure how it's going to go as well, so they're all like hoping, hoping, you know, are you going to win, are you going to be the first Australian to win here, and this and that, and... So it's like, sure, there's a bit of pressure, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's positive. It's all positive pressure and everyone's excited for me and definitely I feel they're supporting me. So, you know, from that point of view, I'm just like, this is great. You know, sure, it's full on, but they're all with me. So let's, let's go and have fun with it and try and give them a, a reason to, to celebrate on Sunday. I've certainly missed the, the race weekend, I guess, like the, the F1 circus. Uh, you know, you get to, got to the end of last season and I was like, I'm done with this for a while. Give me a holiday. But now, you know, we're, we're coming up to the start of the year and I'm, I'm hungry for that again. So everyone's been posting videos, photos of their training in the off season. But uh, yeah, let's, let's do the talking on the track now and see what happens. <laughs> uh, goals I've personally set myself for this year is to be on the top step again, you know, and, and I guess the goal is to be on the top step enough times that come you know October November it's it's put me in a fight for a, a title that's that's the real goal I think you know us as a team can build take and and learn a lot from 2016 you know I think we we really set ourselves up well to to continue in the trend that we did so 2017 you know we're, we're looking we're looking strong we're looking good I think everyone's definitely in the right mindset right now and, and that hunger is is back I think it's very positive having a, a strong teammate you know I've, Personally, I've always loved, you know, having having someone I can really uh, challenge myself to, and you know, you always want to beat your teammate. So, you know, it's it's nice having someone you can maybe beat easily. But I think you can learn and, and grow a lot more with with someone who's a top top shelf driver. So, I feel that the team has that with with myself and Max, and and we recognise that as a pair. And uh, I think it showed last year. We we uh, we pushed each other a lot, and and that was good for both of us. And this year, it's going to. Uh, I hope it continues to grow like that, and we can really establish ourselves as, uh, you know, two top drivers.